This is Mike on Cars and Bikes. Today, we're going to fill tires with air. We have Daisy and we have a new person on the channel. This is baby Mike on Cars and Bikes. Today, we're talking about a very exciting topic of filling tires with air. And so if we walk through generations of this in the apartments in San Francisco, I had a motorcycle and I would fill the tires with this, the bike pump. And you could bring it down to the parking garage and top off the tires and you'd be good to go for the ride. I usually do it the night before. I also use this to fill up the tires in Daisy in the Corvette. This is the bike pump, take it with you. I would take it to track days. You can fill up the tires, go up, go down. Uh, the gauge on it is actually fairly accurate. Um, I also have my trusty regular tire gauge, uh, which I've been using for a while as well. This is really the only thing that's accurate. Now, when I got this awesome toolbox with a whole bunch of other tools as I'm moving in, preparing for somebody, uh, I decided to buy other stuff to make things easier. It seemed kind of foolish to just use a bike pump to fill up a car tire, especially when you have two cars. Uh, we have Mrs. Mrs. Cars and Mike's car. You wanna say hi, Barry? Hello. And so I got whatever garage needs, shop air. And so I got a little Harbor Freight pancake air compressor and a hose and I got the assorted pieces that go with your garage air. Yes, Barry, yes. Yes, we got all of this stuff. We even got this thing. It's another tire gauge, plugs into the air compressor. Um, however, this gauge, very inaccurate. And so I would end up still using this guy. But you could use this to fill it up and then test everything with the other one. Oh, are you doing okay? Do you need something? Oh, you need a nap? Oh, you need more entertainment. All right, well, we'll try to entertain you. And so I bought the air compressor and the hose and long enough hose so I could go to both corners of the garage. You measure all the way out this way and you make sure you can get to the rear tires on both sides. And that works great. However, you know, as a car guy, your wife has a car and you have a car, but how are you going to take the little ones? And so cars have this thing where they multiply. And so we also have this one. Yes, uh, we have the, we have another one. Um, same color, different car, slightly bigger. That's the big car for this guy. Yes, you need a big car. Yes, the biggest one that I thought we would get. And now it becomes harder to fill tires with air, which you do every month, right? And so that hose will not reach the bottom of the driveway. And so what do we do with this conundrum? We go back to the bike pump. Well, I have three cars I need to pump up the tires. They all need two pounds of air. And I don't really want to rearrange the cars just to fill them up with air or drag that thing around. Um, and so the, the hose length is one issue. Another issue is that thing is so loud. It's the cheapest one. And so I got the whole thing, the hose, 80 bucks, maybe with coupons and such. But I would never turn that thing on with this guy in the garage. Yes, your young ears are way too sensitive for a super loud air compressor. If I have a photo of the decibel level of that thing, I'll put it on the screen here. I tested it with the iPhone, it's loud. Uh, I really don't like being in the garage when it's on. It kicks on multiple times as I'm even just topping off the tires um, for these two cars. And so, too loud, the hose isn't long enough, it takes up space. And so we moved in, we had kind of nothing in the garage. We only had tools, we have assorted things, we have another shelf with more stuff, with ladders, and all kinds of green Ryobi stuff that is perfectly fine for a homeowner. And so what do we do? Well, we got the latest purchase. And so if you're keeping track, that whole air compressor setup, 80 bucks. Loud, doesn't work very well, kind of impractical. Um, also, can't take it with you on track days. Um, I would end up taking the bike pump with me on track days. I have a, another little kind of flat tire um, thing that runs off the, the car, 12 volts. Um, but it's kind of a similar issue. You got to plug it in, you got to drag the thing around everywhere. And 
So if you see where I'm going, the latest purchase is this. It's a Ryobi something, I'll put the model number in the description. Um, it is an air compressor and you can plug in your standard Ryobi tools into it. It's $20. $20. Um, and the great thing about this is that if I go get the battery, let's go get a battery. Here we go. See if I can do this in the mirror. And. Woo! So it tells you what it is. It's not super loud. Is that too loud for you? <laughs> that, they, they, you didn't answer the question. So the, the great thing is that I can take this thing down to the garage, to the car, and fill the tires with air. Um, now, this gauge still has the same problem where it is not very accurate. And so, it is kind of consistently inaccurate. So you just put an extra four PSI in it. Uh, and you can test everything with the standard trusty tire gauge that I have. Um, another advantage of this is that I can take it with me to the track days. And so this fits in the gear bag with everything else. And I can fill tires with air easily. Uh, I don't have to worry about cords or dragging things around or plugging into the 12 volt, make sure the car is on, make sure the battery's good. All of the stuff, we just have that, which is $20. And it works with all of my other Ryobi batteries. Um, and so maybe it's not gonna work forever. Um, I can buy another one, 20 bucks. There's probably some kind of warranty somebody could tell me about. But the, the really the easiest thing is being able to not worry about dragging out the air hose to all corners of all the cars, uh, especially the newest edition. Uh, and so there you go. This is how you fill tires with air while holding a baby. Yes. All right, you wanna sign off? No, you wanna look around? Okay. Well, I'll sign off. Signing off. This is Mike on Cars and Bikes on One Take.